Hello, welcome back to the allotment garden on a very cold Sunday morning. So the coldest it's got overnight is 1.6, which is 35 Fahrenheit. And the temperature now, we are in the shed though, 16 degrees. It may say 16 degrees, but it doesn't feel like 16 degrees. It feels more like two. And I came out of the house this morning, I lived next door to a park and I looked out and there were people there in shorts. So I thought, it can't be that bad. So I just put a jumper on. And it is. So I don't think I'll be here for long. This is a little picture that a friend bought from a car boot the other week. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's one of these 3D ones. Very uh, trippy. So, I've got a cup of tea. Warm up the old gills first. So I thought we'd have a little plot tour for October. This is the flower bed where all the bulbs are. And this ground cover is called, I know it as snow in the mountain, also known as snow in summer. And it's a very good ground cover. So and the plan is, I would be happy if it covered the whole ground here because it helps to keep the weeds done. And if I wanted to do, transplant some to another part, you literally just rip it and plant it and it grows. There's quite a few plants there. I think there were about two or three plants. There's another piece down there. Obviously, a bit of weeding to be done, but do that on a different day. So, let's have a little walk around, shall we? I can see that there are raspberries for picking. It doesn't look like there's a lot in the ground, but there's strawberries there. In the next few days, I want to come down and put my onions in. I'm not doing garlic this year. But look at these. These are absolutely unbelievable. They just won't stop cropping. This is the yellow Antwerp. One's from the Victorian Kitchen Garden TV series. And there's even more on the, on the other side as well. So one of the tasks, look at them. One of the tasks coming up is to make a frame so I can grow them up the uh, grow them up the frame I'm gonna eat this raspberry now the sweet peas now come to an end so all this needs to be pulled down at the moment this section is a bit of a holding ground but if you remember and I'll take you over and show you the pond in a bit I'm gonna put a huge flower bed going all the way around there and I've got a load of fruit turning up. I can't remember what I bought, to be honest. So this will be predominantly uh, fruit and fruit and veg and a few flowers. Now, right, let's go up here and show you the... Is this the Russian vine? Let me just remind myself. The Virginia creeper. And that has established itself really well there. It's in the shade. Need to come and just pin it up at, up uh, the tool shed here because I wanted to go over the big shed on the right there. It will look quite nice. Oop, just walking into some cobwebs. That's the problem with this time of year. So this section is more about storage. My fence has fallen down. I'll fix that before I go. Let me just lift that up. So the idea is, down here is storage behind the shed. I'm not worried about the rhubarb. There's loads of rhubarb here. In fact, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a weed on this plot, just because there's loads of it. There's some in front of the shed there, uh, uh, there as well, which I will keep for architectural reasons because it, look, it looks good. The shed is looking very nice in this sun. But like I said, it's a bit, it's a bit nippy. Now I do like a bit of corrugated iron. And I found a sheet, which was initially to go and fix the roof of the shed. 
But I've now managed to get hold of some felt. So the felt is for the shed. And what I thought is I could use this um, corrugated iron as a bit of a fence. So all I would need is about three or four pieces. And I could put it down as a backdrop. Because if you remember, in front of the corrugated... So there's going to be a flower bed here. Which is going to contain the grasses that I've been growing in pots. So if we had a backdrop of this, I think that'll look quite nice. Oh, my boxes have... Something's happened. My boxes have come out of my compost bin. Well, although the question is, are these my boxes? I don't know. Not sure. But here are my compost bins. Bit of a mix between compost and storage. Bit of storage on the side here. I've come up with an idea on how to use these bricks. I thought I could sort of build a retaining wall without any, you know, just putting the bricks on top on top of each other down there. And then I could possibly start to build up that side of the plot because it does sink a bit there. So Belfast sink. Let's have a little walk around and I'll show you the pond. So there is the pond. Looking rather nice. I need to buy some compost but there is special compost that you buy if you were putting it into a pond. So I'm going to get a bag of that and literally just throw it in and wherever it settles it settles and then I will take the uh, plants that are in pots take them out of the pots and then what's the word? My mind's gone frozen and then plant them. <laughs> And then plant them into the into the soil. So these are the this is this is the more grass. Look at that, majestic like. So that will be at the back. That will give me a backdrop. In fact, I might save a few of these seeds and grow some more plants. And it will grow to about six foot tall. So I think it would look quite nice at the back there, all the way along. Because this side. Where the chair is, the plan was to put a greenhouse there, but funds are not too good at the moment, so that's probably not going to happen. And as long as I can build a small cold frame, I could put my seeds in there. So I've got some violas there that need to be put into a hanging basket. Uh, this bed, just to give you an update, this bed here will actually end up being a flower bed. So two large flower beds. That dog is rather annoying in the background there, isn't it? So this could be a greenhouse. It could not be a greenhouse. So at the moment, it's a bit of a storage unit. And then some verbena at the back of this bed here. And I do like this little uh, pathway that leads up to the shed so the shed is actually quite raised when you think about the entire plot and also that bench there that bench will go down here somewhere in front of the grasses and there's verbena here there's about one four plants of verbena so I'm hoping with the bench here it'll be a sort of secluded spot where I can just sit and sort of hide on my plot. One thing I do need to get sorted pretty smart is the kitchen. So the shed, it's like any other shed, needs to be cleaned up a bit. Things are all over the place. I've never met anybody that's had a clean shed for more than a week or two. So there we go. It is rather beautiful in the sunshine. It's just when you're not in the sunshine, it's rather cold. And also now we're getting into uh, sort of 
winter sunshine. And what that means is, in the winter, in the autumn going into winter, the sun is lower in the sky. So it makes it a bit more, oh, just sat on something wet. Oh dear, I've now got a wet ass. Oh, try again. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so the winter makes it a bit more difficult to film. Like you can see now, there's a bit of sun here, so the camera tries to focus on the sun. So I've got to try and put myself in the shade in order for the picture to brighten up. So yes, it's a very nice day. I'm not going to do anything today because I, as you can hear, there are some neighbours down with a dog. And for their own privacy, I don't like to film when there's other people around. Thanks for sticking with me over the last uh, week or two as I sort out this channel. We do seem to have sorted out the problem now. And if anybody else has had this problem, the general consensus seems to be that in the back end, if you allow your videos to be embedded in somebody else's website, that seemed to be the issue. So if you unclick the feature that allows people to embed your videos into their website, after a week or two, it does seem to sort itself out. And the channel does seem to be getting back to what it was before all this trouble started. So if you are a YouTuber, go and check out your settings of each individual video and unclick the option that says allow other people to embed it into their website. What else have I got to say? Yeah, so just thanks for sticking by me. Lost about 200 people in the last week, but that's fine. They didn't like the old videos being put up and as somebody said to me can you stop putting up the old videos because I've already seen them and as I said to them how do I know which videos you've seen <laughs> there are people that have already been here for three weeks they haven't seen the videos in the past so you know and as people have said to me Sean you do what you want to do and to hell with what people say so that's what I've been doing I've been putting up all the old videos back on the channel. I think I've put them all up of the videos that I've got, but if there's any videos that you uh, remember and love and it's not on the channel, tell me in the comments below and I'll have a look if, if I've got it in the archive. But I would say 95% of the archive is now back on this channel. Right, like I said, it is nippy. My, my tea has gone a bit cold. So I will be back on the plot in the coming weeks if the weather improves and get in those onions and I might do some garlic just for the sake of a video. Um, but I will catch up with you very soon. So from me until then, bye for now.